Welcome everyone to our unit 3, the multiplier. So, in this unit, we're going to talk about the multiplier, which indicates that there is a bigger change in the GDP due to the change to in autonomous expenditure. Autonomous expenditure are investment, government purchases, and exports. So, an increase in investment by one will cause more than one increase in the GDP. Why is that? Well, the basic idea that the increase in investment or government purchases or exports will, in, will actually encourage more increase in aggregate expenditure, which will in turn will increase the real GDP again. Let us take an example. If the government is to pave a new road with an investment of 1 billion Egyptian pound. This means that the GDP will increase by 1 billion Egyptian pound as the equation would, see, would say C plus I plus G plus X minus M. Is that the end of the story? No. Because actually this will encourage even further investments by gas stations that will start building around the road to facilitate the journeys of the people using the road. This actually will encourage further consumption by people using the road as they're gonna uh, maybe uh, consume more sandwiches. So what happens here that the initial investment of 1 billion was translated into a higher number when it comes to the GDP. So an increase in investment will actually induce a further increase in the aggregate expenditure. So the end result that the GDP will increase by more than initial increase in the autonomous expenditure. Let's see this graphically. So our curve in here is, sits peacefully at the 45 degrees line at point B where the equilibrium is 10 trillion dollar GDP. There was an increase in investment by 0.5 trillion. What happened here that the GDP didn't increase to 10.5, it increased to 12 trillion. So 0.5 increase in the investment caused the GDP to increase by a whole 2 trillion. This is the effect of the multiplier. This is the effect of the multiplier. So the multiplier implies that the change in real GDP will be, will be higher than the initial increase in the autonomous expenditure. How do we calculate the multiplier? By a simple equation, change in the aggregate expenditure over change on the autonomous expenditure. So in our case, it will be 2 over 0.5, which will equal to 4. As we can see, that 0.5 has multiplied four times from 0.5 to 2 trillions. So let us elaborate more. Why is the multiplier greater than 1? The multiplier greater than 1 because actually it in the change in autonomous expenditure will induce a further increase in the induced expenditure and both will actually increase the GDP. So, the size of the multiplier is the change in, in the equilibrium expenditure divided by the change in autonomous expenditure. As we have seen in our equation, the multiplier will equal change in the GDP over the change in the autonomous expenditure. Or, we can simply calculate it by dividing 1 over 1 minus MBC. So the multiplier will equal 1 over 1 minus marginal propensity to consume. Or in other words, marginal propensity to save. As we remember from our previous slides that MPC plus MPS will equal 1. So 1 minus MPC will equal MPS. Or we can simply use the slope of the aggregate expenditure curve. So the multiplier will equal 1 over 
1 minus the aggregate expenditure curve slope. Let's take a graphical example. Let's apply this for our previous example. So here we have the equilibrium at point A at the level of 10 trillion GDP. 0.5 increase in the investment that caused 0.2, uh, that caused 2 trillion increase in the GDP. So 1 over 1 minus the MBC, which was in our case 0.75, will tell us that the multiplier is 4. And this is what actually happened. The, the initial investment was 0.5. It was translated into a whole 2 trillion increase in the GDP. At this unit, we have known about the multiplier and what would will be the change in GDP due to the change in autonomous expenditure, which is either to be investment or government purchases or exports. And we know that an initial increase in autonomous expenditure will cause a higher increase in the GDP. It's magnified by a further encouragement in induced expenditure. Let's go for our next unit.